along with Georgia State Representative Houston Gaines. Gentlemen, good to see you both. Mike, I want to start with you, your assessment of what we saw today. Yeah, I, this is, it's, look, if, if this judge followed the facts and followed the law, there's no question that Fannie Willis and her office would be disqualified from this case. This case would be dismissed without prejudice and a new prosecutor would be brought in to decide whether to refile these charges. But I think what got in the way here is the politics. I think that this Scott McAfee, this judge, fears Fannie Willis and her machine and losing election in Fulton County this year. And I think this, ju this judge fears Governor Brian Kemp, his sponsor, who could destroy his young p political career. His, you, you think so? I mean, obviously, and that's, that's kind of where we get uh, here with Houston for a second. Uh, you know, I, I want to talk to you earlier this week. Governor Kemp signed into law a bill that revives a prosecutor's sanctions panel, which could mean that there are more troubles coming for Fannie Willis. But hey, as you and I both know, Kemp and Trump, you know, that, that's, a, that's a destroyed relationship. So um, talk about what this could mean for Fannie Willis, what, what the governor's trying to do. Well, the bill that the governor signed on Wednesday does provide an opportunity for citizens to file a complaint against district attorneys who aren't doing their jobs. And obviously these allegations are exactly why, and what we know about Bonnie Willis are exactly why we need an oversight commission. Uh, because right now there's not a pathway to remove or suspend somebody like this who's uh, clearly failed to, to, to do her job. And so the oversight commission that we worked on last year now been signed into law as a Wednesday will provide an opportunity to have someone like uh, Fonnie Willis suspended or removed from office, make sure those, uh, what uh, what we've seen can be uh, investigated. There's a hearing panel, investigative panel that that, that, that uh, can be adjudicated and, because obviously there's so many problems with what we've seen. Uh, and Houston, is, is, is Fannie, I mean, obviously the obsession with the, with the Trump case, this is what's making her a star. Is, has, has she been, uh, you know, as negligent uh, in her duties as we've seen some of these other left-wing DAs in other places? Is Fannie one of those? I, th I think she is. I mean, we, you know, the problem is here in Georgia, we have several district attorneys across the state that, to your point, are left wing, progressive, George Soros funded district attorneys that aren't doing their jobs. Yeah. I've got one. I live in Athens. We've got a d district attorney, Deborah Gonzalez, who has failed repeatedly to do her job. There's one in Savannah. Yeah. Uh, there, there are several across the state. And that's why we had to have a uh, prosecuting attorneys qualifications commission to make sure we're holding district attorneys accountable because right now there's not a mechanism in law to make sure that we're holding these DAs accountable. That's what this bill does to make sure that citizens can, citizens can hold their district attorneys who aren't doing their jobs at a rogue. They're failing victims, failing citizens across this state, hold them accountable. Right. Mike, back to the case here for a second, the Trump Rico case, forget Fannie, the defendants have a pretty strong argument. You can't contest an election. Uh, which is allowed w without assigning alternate electors. Or if you do, it's completely pointless, which makes you wonder. And, and they're trying to, to charge Trump with, with lying to state officials or making false statements to state officials because he claimed that he had won the election. I mean, th th it's, it's such a desperate case. It's so weak on the merits. How could it possibly win? And if it wins, how could it possibly survive appeal? That's a very good question. You have to ask, why isn't this judge just missed this case? Because it's not a crime to object to a presidential election. It's allowed by the Electoral Count Act of 1887. And Mayor Giuliani was exactly right. These are alternate. These are contingent electors that he had a duty as a lawyer to have in place. It's not like Rudy Giuliani had fake electors tied up. Uh, you know, the real electors tied up in his trunk of his car and sent in fake electors with fake IDs. It was very clear that they were sending in contingent electors right. here. Right. Yeah. Houston, I got one final question for you. you. You're in an interesting position here because you've, you've got Kemp, you know, running the state. Obviously, Kemp, I, I can't imagine, is a big fan of Fannie Willis. But at the same time, Fannie Willis is, is, is on a case that I would kind of think maybe Kemp is at least somewhat partial to. I, I don't understand. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what his thoughts are at this point or how he's evolved over the last few years after what we saw in early 2021. What do you th where do you think his, his state of mind is right now as he's watching this? Well, I haven't talked to the governor specifically about this case. I will tell you, you know, as he signed the uh, law on Wednesday, he's been pretty strong on making sure the district attorneys who aren't doing their jobs are being held accountable because we have to. I mean, we have so many DAs across this state uh, who have failed us, and certainly Fonnie Willis is one of them. Deborah Gonzalez here in Athens is another. We've got uh, several district attorneys that are just awful in Georgia. Yeah, well, so I, I know that. Because they're not doing their jobs. Understood. Mike, I want to get your final word on that same thing. Go ahead. 
Marjorie Taylor Greene sent a letter to Governor Kemp and Attorney General Chris Carr back in January, asking them to follow their statutory duty and open a criminal probe on Fannie Willis and this fraud that she's perpetuating down in Georgia. They have refused to do it. They are protecting Fannie Willis. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I thought this would be interesting how this would all play out. All right, Mike Davis, Houston Gaines. Gentlemen, good to see you both. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right.